welcome to the vlog i am trying out this new thing called bloom i'll post a little picture here i don't know if you guys saw it but i think i made it wrong like i added an espresso to it which you're, you're you can do and you can drink it hot or cold but i thought you could just put it in with the milk frother and have it like froth like that but apparently that is not sorry I thought you can put it in the milk with the milk frother but apparently that is not the case because as you can see here this I think is the tea and I don't think it dissolved and I think um, once I went onto the website they dissolve the little bloom with hot water and then add milk so I think I made it wrong and I don't think any of the drink is actually in the drink um, so I'm going to drink it hopefully all the sediment goes to the bottom and then I'll dissolve that was some hot water and hopefully get it in or i'll try again tomorrow or something i don't know but i made it wrong so that's fun because I, I was like mm, that's so grainy why is it so grainy that's so disgusting and then i realized i just made it wrong so that's that um happy monday guys um, welcome to the vlog i don't know what the plan is for today i do have some other sorting out to do with the whole room renovation thingy and changing that up um which you guys by this point will have already seen so yeah it's kind of like weird catch 22 i'm trying to like do it as a separate video so it's not spread out over all vlogs but then the vlogs are pretty boring because all i'm doing is stuff for the bedroom but i'm really really loving the way the bedroom is turning out and how it's looking it's so much brighter and fresher um and yeah i'm still quite tired um still not feeling the greatest yesterday was a bit of a hard day after church and everything like that i was a bit sore so yeah um i don't know if you can tell but i am tired <laughs> so i definitely need my coffee i can't believe i did that look at that anyways i'm gonna be editing a little bit um we're trying to clear up some space on the laptop as well and I don't know i'm just i'm exhausted i don't know what i'm gonna do today but it might be not that exciting of a day but i'll check in with you guys tomorrow um if i don't see you guys again oh actually no i'm cooking dinner tonight um so i do have some things that i'm doing i don't, I don't know you know what i mean i'm just i'm so tired i'm like completely out of it I have no idea what i'm doing so i don't know i'm just I'm tired okay <laughs> i'll talk to you guys in a little bit i'm gonna try try and get a grainy coffee down and then we can go from there something's bugging me very textile today all the inseams in my clothes are bugging me hopefully it's still drinkable I know that the taste and the flavor is not going to be accurate or not going to be nice so I'm not going to review it yet. I think I need to fix my technique first but yeah I, I don't know what's going to happen in today's vlog. I am so so tired. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Definitely need this coffee so hopefully it doesn't taste terrible. Um, but yeah I'm, I'm going to be yawning all day. <sighs> Happy Monday um and uh yeah like i said i don't know what's gonna happen in this vlog i don't know what's happening in this week um but i'm starting to like try and build more of a routine i mean i didn't wake up that early this morning but i want to wake up like opening the curtains making the bed it feels so much brighter in here so much bigger i want to spend some time like with this mindful meditation book that i have that my cousin got me I think I've showed it before. It's Mind Your Mind. <laughs> it's quite cute. And I've done some stuff in it. Um, like, especially, I love the doodle page where you can color in. And there's like a few other ones where it's like, draw what's on your mind. I'll just go to a blank one. So, like over here, it says, This week, um, I'm grateful for three goals, mindful reminders, and then the things that you are doing. Um, and then upon that there's like reflections and other coloring in pages and just little little things like that um here's another of those pages so like i 
I love these types of books, but I'm always sad if they're done. So I always like I don't do it by the like here's a little like stupid page. Um, but yeah, I never want to like finish them because then I feel like oh then the book's done. But then I'm like okay, but then I never really sit and reflect. So this year I'm gonna finish this book and do it properly. Um, and yeah, hopefully that works and get into just a nice morning routine and create like skincare and like really just i don't know become like that girl but in a very realistic way you know just taking time for myself i mean i'm not working right now um except for the vlogs and stuff like that so um i know it's harder when you're studying or have like a full-time job or stuff like that so i don't know uh, but i'm gonna try and be as good as I can in creating a routine for myself that is more mindful and that's also why I'm trying out this bloom thing but I made it wrong so because it's like a rose one which is supposed to be good for me um yeah I'm gonna end it here <laughs> good morning welcome to the vlog I don't know what we're filming but yeah welcome I might also start working on my vlog um this week which is a big goal of mine for this year so um yeah definitely i'll leave the like a more businessy like blog instagram because i mean my instagram i post pretty sporadically i don't really post like every single time um i mean i still have photos from like um spring and like autumn and fall and stuff like that that i really want to post but i just haven't because they're like on the computer we took them with the camera and i haven't had the energy to edit them and like you know stuff like that but the blog is going to be a bit more real and a bit more topical and i'm going to start posting there i just kind of want to work on like a content calendar um i'm going to be talking mainly lifestyle things like this whole mindful journey thing now um there's going to be a lot of in endometriosis um topic basic things and also um um, TTC when we start trying to conceive and all that kind of stuff so it's going to be a general life topics but obviously with endometriosis um, comes certain challenges and certain things um, and that will be kind of like my spin on the lifestyle topics because I know lifestyle, there's so many lifestyle bloggers out there but I'm going to have a bit more of a specific endometriosis basis. But it doesn't mean that if you don't have endometriosis, you can't read or learn something from the blog. But anyways, babbled on, fought along. Let's get working just a little bit. And then, yeah, I could, might work on my little book and then take a nap or something. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm already ready for a nap and I like barely got up and made the bed. Um, so... Let's, let's let's drink the grainy coffee and let's go from there. I definitely made it wrong. I think I might need a strain. <laughs> I was trying to be all cute and aesthetic this morning with like my balloon coffee. And I just did it so bad. Oh. slow start to the morning I literally just it's like 11 o'clock and I just took a nice shower blow dried my hair making myself a cup of coffee I'm like trying to sort out some files and like organizing things like that so it's been a slow slow start to the morning I haven't even made the bed yet so I'm gonna go do that now and then we can get the day properly and officially started
that point in the day. Sorry, you can hear the kettle in the background. It's hot water bottle time. <laughs> um, I'll try and get some footage of the bloat. It is literally like all upsided to this side, which like causes like this entire side um, of my body to hurt. Um, you can kind of see over there I'll try and get like a top view or something you can see just how like to the side concord like I don't even know if contortion is steak I don't even know what the word is like contorted um I don't know word here uh, you can just see how like twisted it is and like how much like the bloat is like pushed to the one side and like swells up on the one side um you can see like the fold and the bend in the skin like the one side is flat and the other side like pushing up anyways i got my gown on for the day so much for like getting dressed today i felt like maybe i should just get dressed and feel like semi-human you know have a cute outfit on but no um it was like hot and cold spent it spend a lot of time hold on um, spent a lot of time in my hot water bottle. Can you see that, like, my Christmas decorations are still up? <laughs> Anyways, spent a lot of time in my gown at my desk, just talking to my sister. We ended up calling for, like, three hours, um, till it was, like, midnight by her, <laughs> or, like, 2 a.m. or something. I don't know, it was, like, past midnight. Um, but it was nice just to catch up. And to talk a little bit um but yeah anytime after like two o'clock usually around two three o'clock um is when the pain starts coming back like in general the mornings are pretty okay but man those afternoons man, yeah those afternoons are just brutal um and then I can like deal with it though like I can still do stuff and then now it's like 5 30 and I'm like I need to get a hot water bottle on me ASAP because if I don't I might just faint or something oh he's upside down um Anyways, most of the pain, sorry for like the really bad lighting, most of the pain is in my back right now, um, and my endometriosis I know is like further on the back lining anyways, so my back tends to get really pain, like ugh, painful, like gets a lot, my back gets a lot of pain, I don't even speak. <laughs> Me editing this is going to be so frustrated because I'm moving all over the place doing most random things. Um, so, yeah, I have to, sorry for swaying, it kind of like helps move my hips because my hips like lock up and they get really stiff. My main pain right now, what I was trying to say was my main pain right now and recently has been in my back. Um, I do have cramps and pain in my, in the front and obviously all the bloating and swelling, the endo belly like gets really tight and almost like itchy and it hurts, um, it stretches and the cramps really suck like they go very low though my cramps are really really sore um so i do get cramps in the front and sometimes when i'm laying down especially in bed i have like two or three hot water bottles kind of patched all over me but when i'm doing things I like because i also have like a concave back with my back my spine is like way more like curved in at the back um it really really just pulls and tugs really really hurts in my back so that's where during the day most of the time I put a hot water bottle and then if I'm laying down or resting then I'll have one on my back and on my stomach but other than that yeah so 
sometimes I even use the Vera like on the front hot water on the back like because that helps me with the cramps and the heat helps me with the pain um but anyways I'm just gonna grab one of my little Viking waters these like ice ones the like grapefruit one is my favorite um and then I'm gonna go upstairs I have to cook dinner I'm just making pasta for today and yeah not much to it just another day in the life I'm gonna go upstairs, get that done, come downstairs, probably take a nap. Um, I'm just gonna make like an easy pasta with veg ro like roasted vegetables. So for the most part, the vegetables just need to roast in the oven so I can sit down while that's happening. And then when I'm cooking the pasta, that won't be too long and then it's like mixing it together. So while everything's in the oven, I'll just probably sit upstairs on my phone or something. But let's go prep the veggies cook that and yeah let's get the evening started this is always the most interesting time like especially around four or five it's like oof. I remember when I was working um I used to like get up super early try and get in some exercise because sometimes mornings are okay sometimes not sometimes I wake up extremely nauseous and it affects my eating a lot of the time but for pain wise, I'm generally okay in the morning. And that's like clockwork. <laughs> four o'clock, clockwork, four o'clock is when the pain starts hitting. And I remember when I was still working in the schools and then I had to stay there until like six. And I was like, oh my god. Please, parents come pick up your kids because I cannot deal with the pain right now. Um, that was when I was like in school and off to and stuff like that. So I was like, please come home, please come home, please come home because I was really, really starting to get into a lot of pain. Um, and then I would like crash when I get home. Luckily I was still living with my parents, so they cooked. Uh, most of the time I only had like once or twice a week that I cooked, which is the same now, I cook like three times a week. Um, and Tegan's parents cook the rest of the time. So when we have our own place, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna rely on Tegan a lot to cook or we are gonna have to have like easy meal prep meals or something because anyways babbled on and probably made everyone drunk by like swaying the whole time so i'm gonna go and let's go cook food Coffee number two, I look like a mess. I've just been on the phone with my parents and oh, look at that, it's like full, full, full. Anyways, um, thought I'd just give you a little update. Um, was just, yeah, on the phone with my family, got really cold, threw on my trusty little gown and now I'm sorting out closet things and packing things away before I have to do some admin work, so. Yeah, that's the update. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to fold all my like
cardigan things and put it in this second drawer underneath my sweatshirts. As you can see, this one is still empty because apparently they don't stock these anymore. So now we need to find another plan for in here because these work fantastic. I'm loving drawer organization. Um, anyways, now I have to figure out how to roll and fold these to make sure that they're nice and even and yeah, anyways. It's gonna be a little bit of trial and error, I guess. Um, but that's what I am doing. I'm just trying to get a little bit of organization done. Considering, considering that out there is still a giant mess. The room might look beautiful and neat, but yeah. Outside is still a giant, giant mess. Um, so instead of like laying it face down onto the carpet and folding it, I'm going to have it facing up so that the seam where the cardigan is can be like tucked away and it won't like unravel, or at least that's what I'm hoping. Um, we'll, we'll see if it works. So that's more or less what it looks like now so that the seam is on like tucked on the inside. I'm hoping that it will stay that way. I don't have that many here right now. Um, but I know that I have a few others, so. So I still have quite a bit of room over here, I might like rearrange it, um, but there's definitely space for more cardigans or even sweatshirts if I need to mix and match them. Here is all the scarves and all the hats and beanies and things like that. Hoping to get another like sort of same system in there because then we'll do like gloves. Um, and those type of things and like camping clothes and things like that in the second one but anyways there's still like nothing in the top railings or in this closet yet so I need to I need to move all of that stuff still but I'm like already exhausted and I've done like two drawers worth of things um, I might just yeah, I might just see things that are already on hangers and hanging them in the cupboard and then going through like laundry things and things that aren't hung up yet and doing that tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. I spent quite a bit of time talking on the... Ooh. I spent quite a bit of time talking to my parents on the phone about Christmas plans and things like that, so... Um, considering that they live quite far away, we need to, like, book flights quite far in advance. Um, so we're just trying to discuss and see what's going to be the best plan for Christmas and plan when I'm going to see them again and things like that. So, um, it was a really good conversation. It was really nice to catch up with them as well. But now I'm exhausted and I just ate something. I just had some egg on toast with avocado and some spinach um because i didn't really eat breakfast and then i made another cup of coffee with vanilla milk um so yeah i'm gonna go have my coffee now maybe work on the laptop for a little bit 
um, and then move all the clothes that are already on hangers into these cupboards. Um, we might, we still have to put in the second railing so things like pants won't be able to be moved in yet, but other than that I think I'll be able to move majority things and then we'll spend the rest of the week like hanging things up and sorting things out, so there's that. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise with the hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap, I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, I'm a snide, how you fall, it's how you get right back up, it's how you get tough, cap. I noticed that a lot of the dresses are like really long. So if we want to put in a second rod, they'll just kind of like be in the way. So I saw this person saying that you should just like fold your dresses over. Um, so I'm going to go through and just test it on the super long dresses. Um, and then see how it would look. Now, it's now a nice even layer, except for, like I said, some jackets, but I'm pretty sure the, like, rod was over here, um, so it was below the jacket, so it might still be able to work, I just don't know about the coat, but I kind of like the method so far, and most of my dresses are, like, these type of materials, so they don't, like, wrinkle that easily. So I think, I think we'll be good. So there's that. And my color coordination as best as I could. Um, and there's still like plenty of room. Like if I push it all to the side, I can definitely still grab things and get things without it being too tight. But like I said, there's still a few things that need to get hung up. And like a lot of my colorful things are more like teacher outfits and stuff. So I might separate it like that but I'm not gonna get into all of that now I just want some sort of system that generally kind of works um, and for now I think this is it <laughs> hopefully we can get the second rod in and move all the pants as well um, especially with it open like that at the bottom nothing's gonna get caught or anything like that so I have a good good feeling about it um, but that's that for now. Shut the curtains. And now I'm gonna go drink my coffee and then see what else is on hangers and stuff like that and then see if there's anything else that I can kind of just sort out to make it a little bit more easier like for us in the evenings um, so we don't have to do that much sorting out this weekend because yeah I actually want to enjoy the weekend and not just sit spending time and time like folding and sorting everything. But I need to sit down just for a little bit, cramps are coming again, and then have a bit of coffee, take a breather, drink water, and then we can get going again. Okay, so like clock clock, four o'clock came around, and I'm in pain. I thought I'd just show a little bit of sometimes what I do is I literally lie on the floor with a blanket because I get super cold but I just lie down with my legs apart and my toes facing in so they're like together and my knees are apart and then I cool up like this and I like cover myself in a blanket <laughs> I 
sit like this. Because it just helps with the intense pain over here. So if you're struggling with pain here, um, that's kind of what I do to help. Sometimes it doesn't always work. And then I just sit here and scroll my phone or something or I try and lay down and try and get as flat as I possibly can. So, yeah, this is me right now in fetal position on the floor for probably like another 20 minutes. I've been here for like for half an hour already, I think. And I was like just saying what a good day it is and that I woke up nicely, I ate a good breakfast. I ate it late, but I still ate it. A good breakfast and I got ready. I like did like a little bit of makeup to make myself feel better. I tried to walk around a bit and stretch more. I did some reading, like I felt really good today. <laughs> and like clockwork. Four o'clock pain train comes and um, now I feel like I can't do anything anymore. I might just, if I was taking the computer for a walk or go to the shops or just like get out for a little bit this evening. Um, maybe forcing myself to walk around a bit more might help, but it might also make it worse. I don't know. Um, but I also just really want to get out of the house a little bit. So, I don't know. I've been struggling to sleep as well. Sorry for rocking, it also helps if I rock. And then I have just been wanting to get out of the house. So, maybe I'll like get out of the house and then like get a hot water bottle and then maybe I'll like sleep really well. <laughs> Take a pain pill and just sleep. Um, but I don't know, we'll see how Taken's day is going. He should be home late again, he's been working late every night. So... I saw this sweet photo, like TikTok. Uh -huh. This old man, he had like... Um, mm -hmm. This month I took a, a photo of every time, every morning my wife looked, looked beautiful. It's late. In pain, I can't sleep. Happy Saturday. We've not vlogged at all. I'm like super bloated. Hi puppy. Um, so yeah, I'm taking took a nap basically all day. Um, sorry, just letting Dodgy out. So it's been like cleaning and taking a napping and I'm like super swollen. I'll show you in a second. Just like it's all on the left side. Um it's usually like that though, like like lopsided <laughs> to the one side um which is never really fun like you can always like the one side is super flat and then it's just like right there it's like this little pocket um of swelling usually and sometimes it like starts like from up here and it goes like down to this side um i mean not that this side isn't like swollen like the right side isn't swollen it's just not as bad as the left side but anyways, um, it is like 4 o'clock basically and I'm going to make soup for dinner later um, with some fresh bread, so I'll show you guys on that. And then we definitely have a lot of laundry to sort out and get done. It's just, day did not go as planned, I wanted to do like product shooting and blog photo shoot type of thing. Um, 
today as well, but like Tegan wasn't feeling that well. He was just so tired and I was so sore the past like couple of days that I just was also like peace out. So we just phoned family, took naps and did not get anything done. Hey, who are you barking at? The sass. <laughs> to the neighbors. Who's there? Come, sweetie. Come. Anyways, so that's basically been our day. Um, and it's not interesting at all, but you know, that's all I can give you <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a pretty hectic week, just a lot of pain, um, so I'm sorry it's not that interesting vlog, and I don't know what else there is really going to be to it, but yeah, I'm going to start on the bread just in a little bit. <sighs> Anyways, um, some bread in a little bit, and then we can go from there making soup and all that lovely stuff, and <laughs> Dutton is like running around. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what the little bloat looks like, and then maybe, maybe we'll get a few other things done downstairs, because it looks like a mess, and did not get anything done this week. Good boy. Hi guys, so as usual, I am notorious for getting to end a vlog, so I just wanted to pop on and quickly say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys soon. Bye.